Hi, I'm Dan Destin. And I'm Kim Dusnup with Progress Manufacturing. And today we're going to talk to you about a few situations where the equalizer hitch will work better than other types of weight distribution systems. First is the V-nose install. After the V-nose install, we'll talk to you about a Balnorco install. Then we'll talk to you about an inverted link plate, and then we'll go into the Generax on front of the trailers. We're at Motor Sportsland up here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We've got a Raptor sitting here in front of us. It's made by Keystone. It's got the V-nose trailer. And we have a solution to some of the problems that come up with the V-nose trailer on hitch installations. Progress Manufacturing with the equalizer hitch has made a couple of things better for this installation. You can see we've got a bracket placement from center of coupler back. This can be adjusted anywhere between 27 to 32 inches. The nice thing about this is we don't have to worry about a chain bar application where we have to lift it up with the chains to load them up and hit your hand on the side right here. So if this application fits perfectly for the Venos trailers, but the one thing you want to remember when you do the install on these brackets is turn the brackets in the inverted position, put the studs at the bottom, makes it a lot easier for this install and to load the bars onto this trailer. Okay, next we're going to look at a specific situation. We're at Terry's RV in Murray, Utah. We're standing in front of a Lance camper. Now, our standard bracket system for the equalizer hitch fits a 6, 5, or 4 inch frame. With the Balnorco frame, it comes in at a measurement of 4 and 3 eighths. What Equalizer has done is designed a specialty bracket system for this Balnorco frame. With this bracket system, it eliminates any wobbling or gaps. Okay, today we're at Ray City RV in Roy City, Utah. We're standing in front of the Rockwood Series, the Signature Ultralight. With this particular trailer, it has an inverted coupler. With inverted coupler, you want to do a little bit of difference when you're setting up the equalizer bracket system. Standard equalizer bracket systems have the two bolts up higher on the A-frame. With an inverted coupler, what you want to do is you want to flip the bracket upside down, putting the double studded bolts lower to the bottom of the A-frame. This drops the L-bracket lower underneath the A-frame of the trailer, providing parallel arms for your equalizer when you're using a B-style coupler. This is a quick little change. Make sure with the change that you're using the appropriate holes so there's no gap for the bolts top and bottom of the A-frame. It should set up just as easy as any other equalizer. We're at Sierra RV in Sunset, Utah. We are here in the trailer lot. We're looking at a Rubicon made by Dutchman. We wanted to show you an answer to a oftentimes frustrating situation you might have. We've got a generator platform right here that sits in the place normal where normal weight distribution will go. The equalizer hitch, the way that it's set up with a 32 inch expansion where the bracket can sit, it gives it a great place to sit. This solves that situation. It just makes it a much easier application for this particular trailer and you don't have to have the headache of moving something that is specially welded to the frame. So the equalizer hitch answers a lot of questions. It's going to save you much more time on the installation than it is to have to moving things around and try to fit something that doesn't fit this application. The equalizer hitch is the hitch for the Rubicon trailer by Dutchman. Thanks for watching. If you have any of these types of trailers on your lot or any questions about installing an equalizer hitch, Give us a call or look us up on the web at EqualizerHitch.com. Thank you for your business.